Hello there, today we'll take a look at Solid State Logic's new dynamic equalizer plugin. Let's begin with this electric guitar. We got an overview of the frequency spectrum here. I will turn the tooltips on so we can see what um, Solid State Logic says about it. Top graph, mini display for displaying extra useful context. Uh, okay, so we can somehow select what it's showing here. Let's boost the top end. Maybe at around 3 kilohertz. And high cut at around 8 kilohertz. Change the Q factor here, that's great. So we can also boost it at the cut frequency. We can listen to the selected band solo, so that's a great feature. Activate the dynamic functions by clicking on this arrow. That's nice. Low cut uh, at around 50 hertz. We can open the piano roll here. Here it also displays the notes we have edited. We can determine what is displayed in the top graph. We can display the step response of the EQ processing. Okay, great. And we can also display the phase response. Um, range. Set the maximum range of the graph. This is useful for limiting the maximum amount of gain change you can apply. We can also set the processing to parallel. So it uh, slightly changes the EQ curve. We can uh, switch the phase. We can also switch the phase of the left and the right channel only. We can dock or undock the band controls. If we dock the band controls, they will be shown in the lower section of the EQ. Uh, that's another great feature. I switch to the drums. So let's see what we can achieve here. Low cut at 30 hertz. Slight boost at 80 hertz or 60 hertz. Let's do a slight boost at 80 hertz. A cut at 100 hertz. Another cut at around 500 hertz. To make the drum sound a bit cleaner. Maybe some boost at around 3 kilohertz. Uh, 2.5 sounds great. And a high shelf at around 8 kilohertz to boost the top end. We can select from a few band types here. Low cut, low shelf, bell filter, high shelf, high cut. This is called Butterworth, a notch, and tilt. Bypass. Activated. All right, let's take a look at what Solid State Logic writes about it. Your definitive tool for dynamic equalization. ExternoQ bolts up the renowned Execute 2 plugin and gives you a definitive tool for dynamic equalization during recording, mixing, and mastering. It draws upon SSL's extensive legacy in EQ innovation developed over decades of designing analog and digital consoles, making it our most advanced EQ plugin up to date. ExternoQ features 20 different EQ types and filter shapes with dynamic EQ options for each shelf or bell filter, offering upon 24 dynamic EQ bands for detailed sound sculpting. It also features three new filter types, notch, bandpass and tilt EQ, giving you even more tools to precisely shape your mix. Intuitive node-based interface, per band mid-side left-right processing, auto threshold attack and release, anti-gramping EQ technology, and also backward compatibility with Execute 2. 
Notch Bandpass and Tilt EQ. Notch helps to fix with precision. Bandpass allows you to focus and isolate ranges. Tilt EQ allows you to balance overall tonal characters between the highs and lows. HQ mode and anti-cramping technology. The cutting edge innovations of the Exidin EQ includes anti-cramping technology and an optical HQ mode. These features provide you with a high accuracy EQ response for your mixes. Flexible sidechain compatibilities. Any internal or external sources can be sidechained from any other of external EQ bands for precision EQing, repair, work and creative effects. Piano Roll View. Use the piano roll view to visualize and navigate your filter cutoffs and center frequencies aligned with musical tones.